Again, Corona and Robot Legs together. Let's uh, summarize here. Corona builds your apps for multiple devices. That's what Corona solves. So you don't have to build native apps. You don't have to build web apps and phone gap apps. You just build it once in Corona and it works for all devices. And it gets as close to native speed as possible. Better than a lot of the web stuff because it's the GPU is pretty brainless. You don't have to do weird CSS tricks. See, this is weird. There's a lot of wonderful things about it. Robot Legs handles the business logic and application logic, right? The business logic of I'm hitting these different services, regardless of what device I'm on. The application logic of how does this app work through a sequence? If it's a business app, how does the user engage with trades? How does the user uh, deal with different GPS data in different locations, right? All that logic is baked in the app, but it has nothing to do with the display. Corona handles that part, okay? Robot Legs gives you that bridge to abstract that away and organize that code in a scalable fashion, as well as deal with the fact multi device, right? Robot Legs is the 60% code reuse per device, hopefully, right? If you have a few mediators that you lose along the way, fine. You might have lost some battles, but you won the war, and that's, that's all that matters. Why? <laughs> okay, before I get into this, this is not, these are not solving the problem. These are helping reduce the problem's pain points, okay? So it's not gonna solve them. I always try to you know, come across as positive, but I just wanna let you know these are helpful. So I'm gonna write them as such, but they're not. So an agency, anybody who works in an agency knows that you have two things that only matter. Deadlines, that's it. <laughs> Everyone talks about things that you know they act like, oh yeah, we're about user experience, we know work-life balance, um, we wanna create new, fresh user experience. No, you don't, you care about the deadline. Because if I, I don't hit the deadline, like you can't negotiate, period. Like you, if the NBA is launching on Saturday and you want me to create an NBA website, I can't launch on Sunday. Sorry, I, just, I can't, right? So, shields from ever trying, cl changing client visuals. If you've ever worked for an agency as a implementer of something, you never get things on time. And if you do, they're wrong. And if they aren't wrong, they'll change later. Like you think they're right, so you spend a lot of time getting them good, everyone signed off, and they want some changes, right? Part of that is par for the course, but some of it's absolutely ridiculous. And that's just the nature of the beast, right? You work in an agency, it's fast changing. People are trying to nail down what they want while you're developing it, right? Because you don't want to lose time, right? You don't want to have the hardcore waterfall effect. So if you get at least the business logic and you get the application logic down, you know, your services and commands and uh, models will be mostly good, right? Your views can constantly change. But at least you got that part right. So you can feel good that you're doing good work in that section, okay? Um, especially for developers, if you have two developers in the project, one guy can handle all the services and you know feel like he's doing some good stuff. The other guy can work on the view section, and they can agree on what that API is for the model. Like, look, we're going to deal with our domain objects of this. Okay, cool. See you in a week or two days, whatever. View changes app application business line doesn't. Now, for development, if you're in development, it is supports rad it supports rapid application development you can have multi developers work together everyone can sequester off all work in services you knock out the models uh, i'll give you some vo's we'll, we'll, we'll both agree that these are the, the domain objects that we're going to work with i'll work with making them work with these java guys and i'll sit with them and try to figure out their weird api and try to get my android to actually connect to their strange network as well as their weird push server you just worry about getting the scaffolding up get some views ready um, this guy's you know doing some crazy production artwork with the comps We'll get it in there, right? Go team, right? That's how it's supposed to work together. And it's scalable. You actually know you can have organized commands and packages. You can order organized commands with their relative domain objects. So the command model and view that, you know, deal with their domain, you can organize that way. But the point is you always know where those MVC goes and you know the rules of engagement, okay? Multi-person team, we already talked about that. Additionally, helps organize code. We already talked about that. Keeps it encapsulated. We're talking about that. Easier to unit test. <sighs> in theory. It's always in theory. It's always in theory to unit test. So in conclusion, Robot Legs is an MVCS or Model View Controller Service framework for Corona SDK to build cross-platform multi-device applications. It helps you scale your application. That's really what it's for. You can use MVC. Well, here's the way that we've chosen to do MVC. It's documented on the web. It's currently open source. You can contribute as well. It's already based on an existing platform where it had a lot of success. We brought a lot of the same concepts over because Corona and Flash and Air had the exact, very similar development workflow and everything else. Okay. 
And uh, you can share the most important code between devices, right? Robot Legs is built with the models and services and commands and some of the mediators to share that code, regardless of what device you're on. So you don't have to recode them per device. You know, right, let's code our model in Objective-C with core data and then redo it in Java with the blah, 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 and Android. No, let's not. Let's just, you know, spend our clients' money because we're consultants and we're going to spend money and the money cannon. 